Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Shanahan. And I'm Vince Petrano. Columbia County remains in a state of emergency after straight line winds knocked out power and tore down trees yesterday morning. Early reports suggest as much as seven inches of rain may have fallen in just three hours. Downpours saturated the ground, making it easy for wind to blow anything over. It's like a war zone. I mean, I've lived in this town for over 20 years and look at these trees. They're, they were here for over 100 years. Gone overnight. Nobody was hurt. City officials report they hope the power gets back to everyone by the end of today. Nearly a dozen utility crews from neighboring cities and towns are pitching in. Find a Life police are looking for the man involved in a suspicious incident yesterday afternoon. It happened on Marquette Street near Merrill Avenue. An eight-year-old girl says she came around the corner on her scooter and ran over a man's foot. That's when she says he grabbed her by the arm. That man is described as white in his 30s, around 5'11", with brown curly hair down to his ears. Anyone with information should call the Fond du Lac Police Department. That number is on your screen. It's 920-906-5555. President Obama is granting clemency to more than 45 prisoners who are convicted of nonviolent drug offenses. And an Oak Creek man is one of them. Stephen Donovan was serving a life sentence He's been locked up since 1992 for selling cocaine. He'll be released in November and spend time in a halfway house before then. A complete transformation at Miller Park from a baseball field to a soccer pitch. Uh, this is the second time Miller Park is hosting a soccer game. During the Brewers All-Star break last year, the stadium was packed. And organizers say this year's match between Newcastle and Club Atlas is sure to be a good draw as well, likely bringing in soccer fans who may never have been to a ba baseball game. We love to host non-baseball events at the ballpark, but the biggest challenge is working within the Brewers' schedule. Game is set for 8 o'clock tonight. You can start tailgating at 5. Uh, still tickets available, and if you go, you get a free voucher to see a Brewers game sometime in August. After highs in the upper 80s yesterday, the warmest day we've had so far this year. Temperatures this morning in the 60s to lower 70s. A very warm and humid start to the day. But not that hot today for the fact that we've had some clouds move in and the wind is starting to shift with a northeasterly wind or the cold front is making its way through with a northeasterly wind. You can see the cloud cover so far just some sprinkles to a very, very isolated light rain shower. Not much on the radar is at all despite it being very gray outside. You would look like it's going to just pour at any minute and that could happen. But for the most part right now, it has just been sprinkles and we'll have this chance up until the early afternoon hours and then gradually that chance of rain going away after 3 o'clock. The temperature 77 degrees north. Northwest wind still around 16 to 20 miles per hour across the area and still humid as well. But the wind has shifted in Port Washington down to 68 degrees. Still northwesterly winds though everywhere else and we're seeing mid to upper 70s across the region. Specifically here in Milwaukee County, a little bit cooler at the lakefront. Then you go a little bit inland. The airport's at 77 and Greendale and West Dallas both at 73 degrees. As I mentioned, uh, a little bit of humidity out there as well. This really sticky air is down to the south of us. Drier air beginning to push in. Dew points are dropping into the 50s, and we'll start to notice that later this evening. If you're out and about, it looks going to be very comfortable. Temperatures in the uh, upper 60s to lower 70s and less humidity. Last night, very steamy outside and fuel for those thunderstorms. Tomorrow, dry air, still very comfortable on Thursday. Friday, the humidity starts to spike back up again as a warm front pushes through Thursday night, and that's our best chance of rain. Thursday night, early Friday morning. Saturday, very humid, steamy conditions around here, tropical-like, and temperatures into the mid to upper 80s. And even more humid on Sunday, which will create some thunderstorms throughout the day. Highs today, upper 70s in most locations are already starting to cool down uh, along the lakefront with that northeast wind developing. By 2 3 o'clock, you're going to notice just a few spotty showers around the area. They don't last very long. They're very brief and they'll be out of here by before well before 5 o'clock. So if you have any outdoor plans, just a few clouds, northeasterly wind, dropping humidity and slowly falling temperatures tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine throughout the day, but we'll keep a light easterly breeze and that'll keep the lakefront into the 60s to lower 70s inland areas, mid 70s around the area with that northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's going to be comfortable tomorrow and into the first part of Thursday as well. Then by Thursday evening, here comes the cold front or the warm front, excuse me, and that'll bring in the humidity as well. So the seven day forecast shaping up like this 77 today. We'll get just a few showers over the next couple hours, but a fine evening outside 58 tonight, 70 tomorrow. A few thunder showers late in the day on Thursday, but the best chance of rain is Thursday night, early Friday morning, 84 by Friday with High humidity Saturday and Sunday, mid to upper 80s, maybe even a 90 in some locations. Best chance of rain this weekend, Sunday afternoon.